Hello, and yeah, welcome back to my Let's Play series. It's uh, been a couple weeks, but that's because I just really wanted to get a bunch of work done on this world without having to record it. I know that probably doesn't sound <coughs> great, but uh, I have gotten a lot done, and I, I'm very excited to show it. So, yeah, without further ado, um, yeah, I finished the mansion. I did. I also added this pathway. But yeah, I finished the mansion, and wow, it's looking awesome. Oh, hello, puppy. Yeah, I also replaced this area with grass. There's no longer Podzil there. Um, I, I actually have another location now where I'm going to be uh, harvesting trees. Yeah, so before I give you a look at this mansion, I would like just to say that I went to the end, and I raided a bunch of end cities, got like six or seven elytras, and a bunch of other cool stuff, um, see, so yeah, I'm rocking an elytra now, it's pretty awesome, as you can see there, pretty, pretty sweet, so, yeah, I know I said I was going to do video on the end, but I just really wanted to get there, and be able to get all the goods from there, like shulker shells, and all that, and the elytra, so, yeah, um, and honestly, the the Ender Dragon fight was, like, kind of boring, so there wouldn't have been a ton of excitement there. Raiding the End Cities was, would probably have been fun. I actually got really lucky. I found, like, six End Cities that had ships in them in a row. So, yeah, I guess without further ado, I'm just going to get into this. I'm going to grab my rockets just because I will probably be doing a view around the mansion, fly around. So yeah, I built this bridge, it's like a medi medieval um, bridge style. So, let me just walk over here, show you what this is all about. Pretty, it's actually, it, it, it looks, oh, what? Where? What? Oh, hello. I heard him when I was in the mansion. I, I did. Yeah. I heard the zombie villager. Alright. Yeah, so it looks it looks kind of involved, but it's really not. It's just a super straightforward design. You just mix in a bunch of gravel and cobble. Well, the cobblestone was... See, I pretty much built this whole thing on a cobblestone first, minus those portions up there. Um, and then I, I just came through and added the gravel and the andesite and the occasional stone bricks so yeah it, it wasn't it wasn't that bad um, as you can see I put some diff just various different kinds of plants and flowers on each side just to add to this area I wanna cover up this cave at some point I just haven't gotten to that yet I also wanna add and this might be something that I do in this episode depends on how much time I got but I'm I'm really planning on or really wanting to add like some leaves in these areas just to make it look a little overgrown. I want to get more into like the terraforming side of Minecraft. Like I want to terraform this cliff here and stuff. So yeah, I guess without further ado, I will go into this mansion. I'll do a fly around first. Yeah. So yeah, obviously it's kind of the same on each side. The glass panes on the side, I did kind of swap around on, on each side. I mean, they're the, like, the same designs all end up being on there. So, as you can see over here, I have a clock tower type thing. And then, on the other side, as you might have seen already, I put an F. Now, that's for fuzz. And if you look around, there's a U, a Z, and another Z. So, yeah, it ends up spelling out fuzz. Yeah, so that's... Uh, oh, crap. <laughs> I still have dirt up there because uh, that's what I use for scaffolding. I'll probably have to get rid of that at some point. So before I show the interior of the mansion, I would actually like to show my barn that I created. It's just like a uh, like a you know rustic-looking barn design. Pretty straightforward design. It just... Um, yeah, it's, it's pretty straightforward. Got my pigs in here, my sheep in here. I have a lot of sheep. You remember from the previous episode when I had 
all those sheep in the pen over there. Yeah, those, I literally just grabbed some wheat and dra dragged them all over here. So yeah, it's kind of ridiculous. So I have cows here. There's three, there's a baby. I actually need to be breeding those up some more because I'm gonna need the leather for today's project. And here I have some chickens. And then on this side, it's just blanket. Like, yeah, so just a couple things to so notice. You can see I used coarse dirt to just give it that muddy look and to even further emphasize the mud and to really like make the coarse dirt stand out a little bit. I did use this podzel. Um, yeah, that's just kind of all scattered around. So yeah, I'm gonna go into the mansion now. I'll actually, oh, whoops. I'm still, I'm not great at flying with, oh crap. Whatever. I'm not great with flying with the, whoa. Pigs going crazy over there. Probably hard, I'll probably murder them later. That sounds horrible. But, but um, with a sword like this, which by the way, this, I have some pretty good armor, except for these, uh, these are, I, I don't even know why I'm wearing that. Yeah, so, pretty good enchantments. Yeah, so entering the mansion, it's very incomplete in here. So yeah, like this is gonna be a carpeting area at some point. Like none of this, um, God, what's it called? Uh, I forgot the new, it'll come to me. But none of that is gonna be shown it, it, like out in the open once it's finished. It's gonna be hidden under the carpeting. So yeah, I got the staircase. This isn't new, obviously that's been there. Um, got staircases here. First, I'm just gonna, yeah, these these rooms are pretty much all the same. I was really unsure whether I wanted to add in the terracotta or not, just because it looks kind of weird from the outside, and I didn't know if I was going to like it on the inside, but I think I like it. Um, I'll get into that room in a sec. So yeah, just going up here, you see I got a shelf, got some paintings, it's the same on either side, and then up here is like identical to the bottom floor. Um, which, I don't know if I like that or not. We'll see. We will see. I'll just have to work on it further. There'll be carpets up here and a chandelier hanging from there. Maybe even two. I don't know. Yeah, there's a lot to be done. A lot to be done. This area obviously won't be hollow. And, yeah, there's just a lot to be done. Yeah, so, moving into this room. This is the only complete room. Yeah, so... I'll move over here first. This is pretty much, I know this This is a real old table design. I don't even know why I used it. But just, I guess just as a throwback, I don't know how many people use this design for tables anymore. But yeah, this is pretty much just like a little um, room to chill out. Uh, yeah, and so that's just a little bit of a chill room. Just I had the space here and I was like, huh, that might actually be a cool room. So then moving down here, this leads to my basement. Here I have this little mini room. There's just like an empty space here. So I was like, eh, why not put a room? And there's a closet. Kind of nice. You know what? I'm, I should just hang a chain there. It wouldn't make sense. But like in a lot of closets, um, there is literally just like a little like chain thing hanging down from the ceiling of it for you to turn on the light. That would be cool to do actually. But there wouldn't be light in there. But yeah, so I don't even know what I'm going to use this room for. Probably just, I don't know, maybe distort. Maybe, I don't, I don't know. I'll figure it out. Another painting here. And then this is pretty unfinished. Wait, why is this here? Oh, yeah, because I was trying to, yeah, I was trying to make the painting that size. So I, I just used the block I had on hand. But yeah, this is going to be the storage room. This is what I would like to work on today. Um, yeah, we'll see how much time I... I get I've been blabbering on for a while here, but that's just because there's so much to catch you up on that I've worked on. So yeah, there's this is these beams are just supposed to look like they're like keeping the stone from falling down. Um, yeah, just so I'm gonna be adding like a bunch of other blocks down here to like make it look all dirty and stuff and gravelly and yeah. So there's a lot to do. Um, I'm trying to think. Oh, yeah. One more thing that I'd like to show you that I finally found. And that would be 
wait for it, wait for it. I believe it's in the shulker box. Yes, pig step. I cannot tell you how ha happy I am to have found that. As I think I've mentioned in previous episodes, um, so in my previous world that I, survival world that I had, and this world, I've probably spent a total of, I don't even know how much time, maybe like 24 hours, but I've probably toured at least 40 bastions just looking for pig step. It's ridiculous. And every time I failed until, until a couple days ago. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy to have gotten this. This is like a treasure. I don't know, I don't even know how this started with me. Like, when the nether update came out, I was just like, oh, I really want to find pig step. And I went on a search for it, and I was like, man, this is hard to find. So then I just kept searching and kept searching and kept searching, and yeah, now it's a, now it it's just become a full, a whole thing. And yeah, I don't know why he's holding that. That's <laughs> funny. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So I'm so happy to have found it. Um, yeah, I just wanted to... Wait, what am I doing? I guess I'm clapping. Um, yeah, I just wanted to mention that. So, yeah, I'm going to get going working on the storage room some more. I don't know how much I'm going to get done this episode. I'll, I'll try to just finish the storage room probably and that'll be it. Um, so yeah, let's get into the video. You know, I've had this same, so this pickaxe that I have right now, this is this literally the same exact one that I had in the last episode, and it's literally been weeks that of me using it too. Unbreaking 3 on netherite pickaxe is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Yeah, so I haven't really made a ton of progress yet. I've dug out these sections. There's going to be chests here. Um, so yeah. I'm gonna, you know what, why not add the chests now? All right, that's what I'm gonna do. Be right back. All right, so I am mostly done with placing the chests. Not completely, though. So I have one more of those little sections to complete. Um, yeah, so I just have to craft up, like, a crap ton of chests. Yeah, it's just ridiculous. Almost all of my wood planks are... All are like gone already it's this is I'm gonna have to harvest up a lot of trees after this all right okay so I'll just do this with you guys here okay so yeah as you saw in the last clip I'm using a lighting technique above this the lighting technique of plating, placing a lighting source above slabs because the light will shine through the slabs so I decided to use the shroom light because um, I would use glowstone, but, like, in my area of the nether, like, when you open my portal, like, there's honestly, like, not a lot of super accessible glowstone. Like, you have to go to the way top of the nether. So, oh, crap. I'm gonna need to craft some more. So, I decided not to do that. And I just, I'm next to a crimson forest, so I just settled on, um, <clears throat> I just ended up settling on the um, shroom light, so yeah, I'm just gonna finish this up here. Whoops! Well, I think I'm gonna have to chop this one down. All right, um, and 
bam, just about complete with that. So yeah, as you can see, just a ridiculous amount of chests, just absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, so, um, yeah, now I'm going to add in the details like the cobblestone, uh, or, yeah, cobblestone floor, gravel, andesite, probably some stone bricks, just to, yeah, just to really make, give it the look that I'm going for. All right, so I'm going to do that, and then once that is complete, I am, actually, you know what, I think I'm going to do the sorting part in between episodes. I'm not going to place the item frames on this today because it's going to take hours of breeding up cows to be able to get enough leather to craft enough item frames to fill these rooms. And for those of you who don't know why I would need item frames, it's because I'm going to put the block that is going to be going in the chest onto the item frame so that you can, and I'll craft up an item frame here. Most people know this, but there are some people who do not. Let's see. Okay, so I need more sticks. All right. Yeah, so it'll go something like this. Just say there's that, and then say I want to put shroom light in this. Bam, there's the object in the item frame. So then I know that this, that this one is shroom light, and I'll just open up that chest and get out my shroom light. So yeah, just, man, you know what, I'll just keep that on there. All right, so back to work. So the original design that I was going for here was to just have this dotted all over the floor here. I'm gonna just add that in there. All right, so something like that and I'm gonna dot it all on the walls and uh, as well as the ceiling, but something just Okay, the walls are fine, but something just isn't sticking, like, and popping out enough for me for the for the floor. So I think I'm actually gonna use some coarse dirt. Yeah. Um. So I'm just gonna do this this portion here though, um, with you guys because I would just like to show how I'm doing this design. I mean, it's very simple. You can kind of figure it out here, but. Um, I don't do, like, a ton of, that, uh, that's not going to stick. Um, I don't do, like, a, a ton of building on camera, so I just figured, might as well, yeah, just kind of do this kind of quickly here. Um, I'm trying not to add in a ton of andesite, just strictly because of the fact that, um, it just doesn't, it just doesn't pop enough, I guess, and I really want the floor to pop, because if the floor blends in with the ceiling, and the wall, well, mostly just the walls, but if it blends in with the walls, it's just, it's not going to pop as much, and the room is going to look a lot more boring, so, yeah, I'm just going to come down here, add some coarse dirt, and maybe see if that works, and I want to add coarse dirt just because... Well, then it's going to look dirty, and that's going to, I don't know, I think it's going to be cool. Is it nighttime? No. All right. Um, so I'm probably just going to want to dump off a lot of the stone. Wow. Silk Touch Pickaxe is going to get you a lot of stone, but that's actually good because I'm going to need that for my terraforming project, which, you know, I'm probably going to do that in between episodes just because of the fact that it's it's gonna I've never really done a ton of terraforming such as the kind that I'm trying to do. Um which is kinda of, let's like which is like cliff sides and stuff, so yeah, I'm not really sure how it's gonna go. Uh yeah, anyway, back to what I'm gonna be doing in this episode. Okay, I am gonna put down this course dirt and I'll be right back. Well, I ran out of gravel, so yeah, there's a little bit of an area where there's not anything, and that would be here. You know what? Maybe I can be a little bit resourceful here, and whoa, holy crap, that, sta that scared the crap out of me, jeez, here, you know what, just, what the, and he's gone. 
man. Alright, so let's see. What gravel can I take here? Maybe oh, there's some. There's got to be some. I, I just don't want to. Can I make? Can I create any new? I need one more piece of gravel. Okay. Did I pick that up? What? Oh, that one ended up being flint. Darn it. All right. Okay, there's four more. That should be just enough. So I'll put some there, put some there, and then sprinkle it in right there. And gonna, oh, the Enderman's back. I'm gonna get him. Where's he, where's he, where's he, where's he, where's he? What the? I can hear him. I can hear him. Where are you, pal? Also, the reason these are floating is because I didn't know what I was going to do with the floor, so I just left it open. But yeah, I'm really happy with this core dirt. It really it, it gives this area the look that I was hoping for, where it looks all dirty and stuff. And I'm very satisfied with this. So, yeah, there's one more thing I'd like to do before this episode is over, and I'm going to go do that right now, and I'll be back. Here we are, just flying. This is not what I was going to do. Oh, uh, oh man. I was hoping to land on the porch, but that did not end up happening. Okay. All right. Just going to... Well, actually, I have to remember my inventory. Yeah. Okay. I'll be back with the thing. Haha, <laughs> how did you not think that I was going to be doing this? the end of the episode. Of course I was. This is my favorite new tune in Minecraft, you know? Yeah. This is a real... It's a real good one. Alright. Thanks for watching today's episode. Sorry that I didn't get a ton done. Sorry that I did so much off camera. But I hope that you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed all the building I've been doing. And I will see you in the next one. Wrong button. See ya.